Hi. Okay, I'm back to finish off these questions. Uh, okay, this one is from Hillary Mansfield, um, and she's asking me, how is it possible to make a living with mortgages, food, car payments, etc., on a dancer's salary? Uh, and aren't dancers underpaid? Yes, dancers are underpaid. I've been screaming that for I don't know how many years. Um, it's not easy, and uh, you kind of have to be a bit of a renaissance man to, to really pull it off. Um, I think uh, most uh, working dancers supplement their income with teaching. Um, there seems to be pretty steady uh, income with teaching. Uh and I highly recommend uh, opening a unemployment case and keeping it open at all times. So when you work, you just claim your money. And when you don't work, you get your unemployment. Um, that way you're not spending your savings the whole time. Um, God, make a, make a living. Uh, you know, I'm the king of eBay and coupons and uh, sales. You know, um, that way you can... Live a Beverly Hills lifestyle on $20 a day. <laughs> um, I would say, yeah, just uh, be smart with your money. Um, invest. Try to get out of dance as quick as possible. <laughs> um, I, I say go go act. It's, uh, there seems to be much better um, rates with, uh, with acting and series and, and those sort of uh, incomes. Um, I think nowadays, more than ever nowadays, uh, you have to really branch out and make things work um, because rates really haven't changed that much since the beginning of uh, when I first started dancing back in the 80s. Ugh, ouch. Isn't that right? So diversify, that's the key.